Hello Pisces, how are you today? This is your Abundance and Life Path Report is a tarot scope with a horoscope combined. So it is for Pisces rising and sun sign. Here we go. Let's see what the overall energy is for you. You have dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So we love that. That's just such a gorgeous card. Be loyal to what you love. You are blossoming Pisces very much. You are on this beautiful growth period where your loyalty and the loyalty of those that love you are paying off. You are feel very enlightened and illuminated at this time. You're having a lot of great ideas. You have been inspired with that beautiful Neptune and Mercury in your sign and forgiveness. You're going to let go of something and that is very Piscean energy, just releasing it and releasing the burden. So Pisces, when we look at this energy, we have Neptune and Mercury in your first house. So if you're having any aches or pains on your physical body, we're really seeing that you're, you're very much in love. You're in a very strong state of contentment. You're coming in with Knight of Cups energy. It looks as though you're offering a loved one a lot of your heart at this time, a lot of support. It's almost as though you are supporting your person emotionally, intellectually, verbally with that Mercury in Neptune, really helping them be more intuitive about their decision making than they are normally. We get this, your partner is in this beautiful Nine of Cups energy. It's Virgo energy, you know, it's energy about work. So they're very concerned with their job right now, as are you, you know, how are we going to be happy day to day? And the Nine of Cups gives you great joy. It's wish fulfillment. Between the Knight of, the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, your relationship right now is enjoying this beautiful period of time in which all the work that you've put in so far is paying off. When we look at your second house of earned income, eight of wands, you are going places. I'm um, see the eight of wands is, um, you know, it's this, um, yes, the eight of wands is Sagittarian energy. It's the energy that says you have fire in your belly. You are enjoying your work. You are loving some aspect about the way you earn money and it shows a lot more money. The sun and Venus indicate that you may be offered a job in which it really is close to your heart. So whatever it is that you love, whatever it is that you, however you express your self creativity, excuse me, creatively, um, it looks as though you're going to get a new opportunity, one that you have earned. It's like the 10 year, you know, it's the overnight success that took 10 years to produce. So that's what we see here for you. Your partner is coming in with this King of Wands energy. If you don't have a partner, it means that other people are approaching you in a way in which they want to be generous and abundant with you. King of Wands energy is this really beautiful, beautiful Leo energy and it is in your house of partnership so your partner is very much there for you this person is expressing a lot of fire in their belly and enthusiasm in support for whatever you're doing and again if it's not a partner if you're looking for a loan if you're looking for support in any other way you will get that support at this time Pisces when we look at your third house, and that is all about your local, you know, your your local neighborhood, it's about uh, communications, all kinds of communications, whatever it is, email, mail, snail mail. But the Five of Wands says that right now, there's something about your immediate surroundings that you don't like. I get that it's a tour. It's a Taurus is on the third house cusp, which is very stable, but it looks like there's too much noise. There's too much ruckus. There's too much activity. Uranus, something is always making noise in the middle of the day. You just don't want to be where you're at. You'd really like to move. I get the fact that you will probably move a long distance away if and when you decide to move. 
we get five of wands which means that it could be leo energy it could be any time from now through summer the six of swords says that you really want to get to a more peaceful state of mind this beautiful scorpio energy you want the change you embrace the change but you really want to be in this we when we look at this card this anchor you know you really want to be in beautiful weather you want to be outside a lot and i see that that's going to be a huge change in your life that you're going to love when we look at your fourth house of your actual home whatever's going on with your mother your your immediate family the people that you love it looks like there's some sort of sadness there's a lot of change going on at this time so you could have a sibling you know i also see that that's the energy of mars and gemini is that um, you have a sibling possibly that could be going through a tough time. You may have a mother or a parent that's going through a tough time. Uh, it does represent your fourth house of physical home also. And what we see is once again, you're tired, you're exhausted. You know, the five of cups is it just not feeling content, feeling as though you're ready for a big change. When we look at your ninth house of college or university or you know international travel we get the devil card there there is some sort of wish or dream that you've been obsessed with and you just feel as though you can't quite get through that period of time now i would say that for most of you within a year you are very likely to return to school uh, higher education college you know, some sort of uh, certificate program that gives you a lot of uh, ability to express yourself in a very creative way. You also would really like to travel to foreign places, experience a more international environment that is beautiful Sagittarius energy. When we look at your fifth house, home is where the heart is. And, you know, we're really seeing it's ruled by cancer, which rules the house. And we see that, you know, right now I'm getting the eight of swords. What is it that you're not experiencing in love that you would like to experience? Because I'm getting that the person that you love just loves you tremendously. You feel as though you don't know what the future is for the two of you. You do feel a little caged in. You feel a little boxed in somehow in this romantic relationship. You feel as though your wings are bigger, that you may have outgrown it. For some of you, you know, you will love this person forever. You really see them as a rock star, but I also get Pluto, so I do expect some dynamic changes. You will either have to learn how to break out of the mold of their expectations because you're always there for them, and you need wings to fly. You need to do what you need to do. This person really will support you if you take a stand and say, I'm doing it, but I'm not sure that you know that, Pisces, so I'm telling you. All right, so when we look at your sixth house of everyday work, we get the Knight of Pentacles, and that's Virgo energy, and that's exactly beautiful energy for you, Pisces. It really says that you're slowly making progress and that you enjoy work. If work is gives you a form of self-expression, if you can create something at work, all the better. You have Leo there in your fifth house, children of the mind and body. So it also speaks to the fact that if you are a person who loves children, you may want to open a daycare center. You may want to do something unusual, but it really speaks to the fact that you need a creative outlook in your day to day work. When we look at the 12th house, that which is hidden, the house that normally rules Pisces, we're seeing Saturn and Jupiter there in Aquarius. So we see the eight of pentacles. You are learning something new behind the scenes. It looks as though you're very disciplined in trying to expand a knowledge base. Now you could be studying with Saturn how to you know, improve your career. You may be ignoring the devil card for formal education, and you may be opting 
with Gemini, Mars and Gemini, you may be opting for learning what you need to learn or want to learn in the peace and quiet of your own home secretively with Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius right now. So that is the, I want to give you the overall energy, which was, of course, illumination. And I think that's your fourth house. I think that's you coming to terms with what you really need. You look as though you really let go and you allow yourself to blossom. You know, you need to forgive yourself, I think, for allowing yourself to feel this energy that, you know, you've caged yourself in or you've allowed somebody else's opinion in my in my way of looking at this intuitively. I feel as though you've allowed somebody else to impose their values on you. And it's just really not appropriate for you. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what we have for this period of time for you, Pisces. Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups. Prick up your ears. Romantic opportunity coming in. Beautiful. It looks as though somebody may make an offer of love to you. And let's see the Nine of Cups, the paradox. You do have some confusion over your partner. You really love them. Um, you're feeling as though you've been very happy with them. Let's see what this paradox is about. I really think the paradox is about the fact that you may feel that they take flight and they do what they want to do creatively and career-wise, and maybe you are holding yourself back. And so let's see if what this paradox is about. The child, yep, you want to begin something new. You want this ability to use your creative energy. You want to break out of the mold to create a child of your mind or body. Now you may even want a child and you don't know if your partner does, but I'm getting that you're very happy with the partnership, but now you're in this situation of wondering if your goals match. So let's look and see what we have for this beautiful Eight of Wands energy moving ahead very quickly. The sun, the Venus, there's something about your your local, um, your way of earning money that you really love. The Queen of Shadows says that, you know, you feel as though you could do better, that you'd like to burst out. You would, you are shining brightly. If you want a new job, you can get a new job. Yep, there we go. I think you're leaving and you're leaving the Queen of Shadows energy behind. I feel very much that that's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, burst forth very rapidly and make a major move uh, to, uh, to have a different way of earning money. When we look at your partner and what they bring to the table or those who support you in terms of loans or other people's money, let's see what we have for the eighth house. Okay. Lady of Sorrows. Interesting because we have... Yeah, we have the paradox. Okay, so we have the Lady of Sorrows here. So that energy says that you feel as though your partner, again, may not support you. You feel as though you're just not getting the kind of support from others. However, the truth be told is just because you don't feel that you have it doesn't mean that you don't have it. What I'm getting here is that this this lady of sorrows is actually the lady of leprechauns which means that she will give the support but you have to be very firm in knowing what you want that she'll kind of play along and she won't really do much but if you really say hey this is what i'm doing this is what i'm going to go after eight of wands energy i'm doing what i'm going to do this your person makes the choices they want for themselves and you're going to do the same thing and that's going to empower the relationship Five of Wands energy says that you feel very competitive, noisy envi environment. Somebody around you in your space, if you live in an apartment building or you have a neighbor, it just looks like they're very annoying and they're, they have a big behind. <laughs> Need I say more? Let's look and see where you're going to move to. That, that moving, that energy of moving far away to a deserted island. Lady of Song, happiness. You are going to set yourself free. We have for the fourth house of house and home, your family issues I was talking about, we're getting the lady of faith. You know that all's well that ends well. 
everything will be fine. Look at you, you are gonna burst out of your self-imposed limitation. Fairy of growth is coming to your house of creativity, of love, you're gonna let yourself out of the birdcage. Two minds. Well, you like your job, but you would like a change. So you're not, you're undecided about your daily work life. Let's see what the devil card is here. Let's see what we have for the devil card for Pisces. Let's look and see the speaker of the truth. You are going to speak your truth about what you want. You're going to speak your truth about what you insist on having. You are very obsessed with a thought and it says that you're going to tell your truth. You're going to break out of that cage. I feel like it's going to be very powerful. You are a star. Look at bright spark. Your person's going to really support you. They really are. I'm getting that. Your person will give you all the support. You'll have a lot of support of groups and friends, uh, business associations, um, professional groups. Beautiful. And your 12th house, we have the Eight of Pentacles. You have money hidden. <laughs> you have been saving money very diligently. The Lady of Joy, you're going to burst free with song when you get to this point where you're ready to make this big move. You're keeping it. Other people know about it, but you're not talking about it too much. Pisces, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and sending you love from Chicago. Thanks so much for visiting today. I love all of you, and I'm very appreciative. Bye-bye.